Hi friends, it's Sleepy. Tonight I'm sharing my Ultimate Decades Challenge Let's Play. I'm a big fan of historical fiction, and I saw this challenge put on by Morbid Gamer. I saw that she extended the original Decades Challenge, which started in the 1890s, and extended it all the way back to the 1300s to medieval times. And I thought it sounded like so much fun, but it's pretty involved and a lot of work, especially just trying to get the game to simulate some period accuracy. But that's not my focus. I'm here to have fun. This is my founder, Thomas Turner. He's a peasant. They live on a really good plot of land owned by a pretty fair and just noble lord, I would say. And so let me introduce you to his family. All right, here's Thomas up close. I actually made him all by myself. I'm proud of myself. I usually don't give male sims that much attention. Thomas uh, was the eldest son of his family, and this was his family's plot of land. His parents have since passed, and the lord of this village, I don't know if I would call it village, well, the one he works under, chose Thomas's wife for him, and her name is Mary. This is her cold weather outfit. Uh, Mary was the fifth daughter of a lower class merchant. Her wedding prospects were limited when the Lord offered the merchant that he felt that he had a good match for her. The father kind of felt like he had to agree. So this is her. She's just, she just turned into a young adult. She's about seven years younger than Thomas. Together they have six children, um, only five surviving. Their eldest is William. He's a really good mix between the two parents. Second was John, who is so cute. Third was Eleanor. Eleanor is not here because she passed away as an infant. Next came twins, Marjorie and Magdalene. And then the newest addition is Elizabeth. One thing to note about this decades challenge is there will be a lot of times where I'll be casually discussing pretty serious or sad things like infant and child death um, and just other misfortunes of being a peasant or being alive at all in medieval times. There'll be a lot of times where my sims are sick or suffering and I can't do anything about that in this timeline for, for it to be somewhat realistic. But clearly I'm not trying to do every aspect of realism. There's definitely some things about society that I'm not going to pay any attention to just because this is just casual for fun, but I'm not that bothered by some morbid topics. <laughs> so I don't know. I None of it is meant to be serious okay so let's see today is tuesday at 12 p.m i just aged up elizabeth william and mary so mary's the mom william's the eldest son elizabeth is the youngest daughter we just had the harvest yesterday and today's the second to last day of the year 1307 i'll try to remember to put the year at the bottom of the screen for every video I see that there are some chores to do for Thomas, so I'm just going to play and we'll see what happens today. It might be pretty casual. I'm going to have him take care of these things. He can't harvest anything. The rules are hard to remember. Okay. So, I don't actually think there's anything to do with the crops. Oh, he can weed. Okay. And you know what? I don't think we've scavenged in a while. Oh, they call it foraging. Pardon moi. Um, these cat. Oh, I have to see what William can do. Can he take care of cows? Yeah, he can do stuff with the cows. All right. What else can he take care of? How about you? Dirty. Clean. 
<gasps> this is excellent. I haven't had any help yet with um, any of the stuff on the, the farm. Okay, Thomas got mail supposedly. What did he get? Oh, I just sell these. I don't care. That's cheating. I assume he can't have any of his apples. Ooh, let's sell all this milk because William's getting new milk. Okay. So I do think I can afford to send this guy out to the woods. Can she be cooking some? Oh, she's being cute. Oh, I don't want to mess with it. They're so cute. Sorry, I have to grab a pick. <laughs> Let's time skip. Oh, I should get like a super cute. Oh, oh. my god. Could it be cuter? <laughs> oh, Thomas is back. What did you get? Let's see. Yeah. Stinky skunk. Great. He was a victim of nature's smelliest animal. And emotionally mindful. I don't know why. What did we get? Oh, good onion. We're going to plant that. Okay. Um, plant to my friend. Plant away. What's going on? Oh. Um, so cute they put her in by herself. They knew. Like, oh my god, what's happening here? Oh boy. She needs a bath. No, it's winter. It's cold. Use the inside one. Go ahead, folks. I think the bees are still dormant. They are enraged, though. Wait, how did a child get out there? Hold up. How did she get out? I'm so confused by that, but... Whatever. Oh good, Tulip's gonna die soon. I'm sick of that cow. Can't milk her, so what, she's, what is she good for? You know? Well, apparently locking my gate did nothing. A doctor's appointment. Oh, her postpartum. Yeah, they didn't do that, so you're not doing that. How is she doing? Aching after pains. What's this? Should I be more lenient? Oh yeah, she's a strict relationship with almost all her children. Alright, settling down. Oh, I don't have a bed for William. If William does that, I think I'll send him to bed. That's his bed. And go to sleep. Alright, let me make sure all these kids are situated for the night. Okay. They're all settled. She wants a bath. He's just drinking water from glasses. I think I'm sending him to bed first. I'm not going to have them have another baby yet. I just want a little break from Mary being pregnant constantly. And I think these folks would agree. I think they would feel like their hands are full and they got plenty of mouths to feed. Everyone's relatively young, so they need a lot of care. It would be nice if um, we could get John to childhood first before we had another baby. Ooh. Let me mark another day past. We are on Wednesday. Our last day is 1307. I'm proud of myself. I've played through seven years already. Oh, weather. Seasons is a love and hate thing. I don't always like having weather. But I guess it makes things more interesting. All right. Good morning, everybody. William's up first. 
Is this cake still good? It is. I'm gonna have him eat some of that. Go ahead. Who else is hungry? Oh, please eat, honey. You should sit her underwear. Let me help you out with that. Scenes. Oh, stinky kids, yay. <laughs> Alright, William, you gotta go do some farm chores. Get dressed. Alright, I think we gotta feed chickens first. Let's see, collect the eggs, clean the coop. What? You can hatch egg? Then do it. Scatter feed, making them work. So did Mary decide not to give her kid a bath? Guess so. Uh, whatever. What's going on over here? I've never seen that. Oh. Wait, I'm dead. So cute. Kid nasty. Oh my. Dear God. It's ridiculous. Alright, two things need to happen. Oh boy. I tell ya, having toddlers. Oh, I forgot about this milk. Is it bad? It's still good. Huh? Cheating. What? Yeah, his responsibility went down. Drop out of school. Let's see. Alright, William. You getting out of school? Excellent. Good. Solved. Get to work. This is our last day of 1307. Nothing is really happening. I don't have a harvest until two more days um, in 1308. So I think I'll end my first video and introduction to my Ultimate Decades challenge here. Sorry if it was kind of lame, it won't always be this way, it just is that way today. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you stay tuned and subscribe and like this video. Take care.